All right, guys, welcome back to part three of getting OBS and your DAW working together so that you're able to live stream your instrument to um, whether it be like drums, trumpet, um, anything. You want to make it so that you're able to live stream it to like a, a Twitch, a YouTube, a Hitbox, Facebook Live. I don't know. There, there's probably a bunch of other platforms out there, but needless to say, you want to do it, right? So last time, we focused on these programs right here. We focused on uh, Focusrite Control, um, Osseolink Pro. We talked about Reaper, um, how to you know different stuff we can do over here. And so now, what we're going to be focusing on in this video is latency, um, Windows sound settings, and OBS settings. Okay. So in no specific order, let's tackle the Windows settings first. Okay, so remember this magical number we found? So this magical number over here, okay? You either pick 44 or 48. I don't know what you picked, but whatever you did, you got to make sure it's everywhere, okay? You got to make sure it's, it's in Control. It's in Link Pro. It's in Reaper. It's in OBS. It's in Windows. It's all over the place, okay? So here's what we have to do. We can either click this guy right here, WinMMC panel, right? It'll pop it up over here, or we could just right click the icon, go to playback devices, okay? And you're gonna get this window. Now, you're gonna need speakers 01 as your default, okay? I have nothing else set as a default communication device. All right? Go over here. I didn't touch this at all. None of that. Okay? Then you're going to right click it and you're going to go down to properties. When you get to properties, you're going to go to advanced and you're going to, hey, check it out. There's that magical number. So you're going to need this number again. Make sure that it links up with this bad boy over here and all the other 14 different places it's at, okay? So again, you just click this, you'll find whatever one, maybe you decided to do 4800, you got an awesome computer, you know. I just kept it at 24 bit the whole time. You wanna do 32 bits, whatever. You can, that, that's up to you. But just make sure that they're always the same, okay? And then you'll hit apply if you made any changes. Then you're going to go over to recording. You go under that tab. And under this one, you're going to want to have your default device right here. Mix 01. You're going to go to properties. You're going to go to advanced. Same thing. Make sure it all lines up everywhere. You don't want something uh, something super cray, cray to happen. Man, that was a good stutter right there. <laughs> also, Exclusive mode. Make sure you got this thing checked off, okay? That's important. All right, next. Um, you do need a default communication device. I don't know if it does anything. I can't remember, but I have it set as this guy right here. So you'll right-click this, you, you know, and you'll set it as your uh, default communication device. It'll give you the option, uh, just like it does right here, okay? Um, don't... Don't bother going into properties, advanced and all that stuff. Don't don't touch it here, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay, so that's all you got to do for Windows. All right, next thing. You, we're going to talk about OBS, all right? So let me close. Let's minimize all this stuff. Let's bring this guy to the other side. Okay, and now we're going to get some good old st stream uh, exception, so please bear with me. Okay, so over here, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go over to your settings. And again, we're only talking audio stuff. Um, I'm, not, I'm not worried about getting your stream looking smooth and everything, but audio-wise, yes, I do want that to be smooth. So you're going to go to settings. Okay. You're going to go down to audio. OK, 
Okay. Hey, check it out. It's that magical number, man. We saw this thing, you know, 260 times already, okay? Check it out. This is where you get limited. So if you picked a number that wasn't 44 or 48, I'm sorry. Because you're going to have to go back and probably something's all like jacked up. You're probably like cursing up a storm or, or whatever. You're frustrated and it's not working. And, and this is why. This is why we picked either 44 or 48 because OBS has a limitation where it can't go... Um, it can't go to the extremes. It can't go anything higher, okay? Okay, so I put it as 44. We want this as mono. Speaker 01, the, we just set this as our default earlier. Um, I have this disabled, disabled, um, Again, this I told you to set is your default. This bad boy right here, Mix 3, I don't use this. I don't know why it's in here. You could probably just get rid of this. But for whatever reason, I kept it. Um, it does nothing. And lastly, um, audio meter decay rate. This is something that new that came out in one of the OBS updates. Um, previously on an older version of OBS, I don't remember seeing this and I never touched it. So it's, I still kept it at whatever it was. So still at fast, haven't touched anything. Okay. So there's the audio settings. Okay. And if you're wondering, I do use some hotkeys. Actually, I only use one. I'll show you. And I use it for, uh, my audio. Where is it? Uh, there was another one in here. What was that for? Uh, that's for another game. Okay. Right here. So if you notice down over here, this is where my microphone comes through. And this key right over here is just going to mute it. Okay? So you just click in here. You know. Let's see. We'll clear the whole thing. You'll click. You'll type in whatever key you want. Boom. You're good. Type it in. Hit apply. That's it. And then anytime I want, I'm just going to hit that key. Now you're hearing me talk. And you can just go back and forth hitting this as much as you want. Okay, you get the idea. All right. Um, next thing you're going to need for audio setting wise. You're going to want to go over to... Well, there's two ways to get there. Um, see if I can find it. Okay, you got to go to Edit and Advanced Audio Properties to pull this guy up. Or you can go down to the little icon. It doesn't matter which one you pick. And you can go to Advanced Audio Properties. All right, so what you're going to notice is that you're going to have a little bit of latency, okay? Now, how you fix the latency is it's all going to be off of this guy right here. This is what's going to be um, that you, you'll need to increase this. Bottom line, your desktop audio will need to get delayed a little bit so it's lining up with your microphones, okay? Your computer... Essentially, what this means is when you go to YouTube and you're playing audio, your your computer is too much of a beast, all right? It's so good that your audio goes directly into OBS with no issues. It doesn't have to go through a ton of programs. It doesn't have to go through a DAW and then go through like a, a whole mess load of processing, okay? So what you need to do, your microphones are though, anytime you're hitting a, um, like a snare drum, you know, a tom, a cymbal, whatever it is, anytime I'm speaking into this mic, there's a little bit of delay. 
You know, the signal has to go a bunch of places, get processed, and then it finally reaches its destination in OBS. Well, again, YouTube, your music, anything from your computer is going straight in there, right? But your microphones are outside of your computer, and that's why there's a delay, okay? So you're going to notice that if you don't make this correction, okay, if you just go over and you you um you did all the settings I said to do up to this point. You hop on the drum set. You pl you put on a track, okay? And you start playing to it. All right? You're hearing it fine, okay? And you're like, "Wow, I'm playing good. I'm on time. Man, this is freaking groovy. Awesome." And then you're going to go over and you're going to open up your VOD, okay? Or you're going to open up your stream recording, all right? And you're going to see you're off. You're going to be off time. It's 100%. You're going to be off. And but what the heck? I didn't play it that bad. Come on. I'm not that, I'm not that bad, okay? Well, this is where it is. You're going to have to go over... You're going to have to hit this this little key right here, okay? And it's going to say start recording. And you're going to hit start recording, okay? And you're going to pull up a YouTube video. And you're going to hit play, okay? And you're going to start recording it. And all you're going to do, this is how I uh, did my audio, is you're just going to take like a drumstick or whatever, okay? You can even clap your hands if you want. Okay, and you're just going to go over to the drum, all right, and as that music plays, you're going to hit it on beat. It's going to be like uh, whatever it is, whatever the song is. Awesome. You did that on beat to whatever song it was, okay? So at that point, you're going to stop the recording. You're going to go over, you're going to play back the, the, um, play back the VOD, whatever, wherever it's saved, play it back. Okay. And then you're going to see how much you're off and then you're just going to keep on increasing this. Ultimately, I ended up at 63. Also, it's just going to be a lot of trial and error at that point, guys. But once you get it working, it's worth it. Also, this guy right over here. Let me close this. We'll come back to this in a second. Also, over here, you have the ability to adjust latency. This is what's really cool about this program. You see these little wheels right here? There's one over here. And let me make this a little bit bigger in case you guys have a hard time. Actually, you can't really make the wheel bigger. But anyhow, there's a wheel right over here. All right? And it applies to both of these channels, okay? Um, you also have another wheel down over here, okay? So pretty much you can lower the latency whatever you want, okay? I'm not going to do it now because as you lower it down, it'll distort the audio until it gets fixed. So if I actually adjust this, my voice is going to be all crazy um, as I talk. But um, when there's no signal coming through or whatever, um, I don't want to throw off my, my own sync. My, all of a sudden, my, my mouth moving and then all this could be all weird and, and stuff. But you can adjust it here. Big thing is you don't want to go below zero. If you go below zero, you can go into the negatives on this, okay? Um, your signal is going to come through with a lot of uh, cracks and, and pops, uh, snaps and all that, um, distorted. Um, so you just want to, you, you can lower it down, but the bottom number you're looking at is this number here that's actually fluctuating, okay? Um, so let's see what else. Oh, let me go back into settings. Okay, last thing. I want to tell you how to balance your audio 
So anytime that you're streaming, right? You know when you're streaming and you pop up a YouTube video, okay? And it's like, it's really loud, right? Like, this is a video that whoever mixed it just decided to put it as loud as possible, okay? And then you have a viewer a viewer who requests another song, okay? And this song happens to be really quiet. So you went from some really loud um, death metal song, right, to all of a sudden the next song in the queue that somebody requests that you play is like a classical piece or it's like soft jazz um, and it's really low in volume, right? And you're wondering, how do I, how do I get this to always be consistent so it sounds good for my viewers? It's real simple, okay? What you're going to want to do, again, you're going to put this bad boy up all the way. Okay? And then Reaper. Let's uh let's see here. Let me bring this over again. Okay. All right, so in Reaper, you're finished um the reason why Ah oh, man. How am I gonna do this? Let me let me minimize this real quick. Alright, so in Reaper, all of your stuff, right, is coming through your master. Now depending on how you mix everything, you should never have to worry about clipping. Okay? If you put on a good compressor and you do a good job mixing here. You can keep this sucker all the way at the max, and you're never going to distort as long as your mixing and stuff has been good in here. If you notice my voice, it's never going above like a certain point, and that's because I got some compressors on there, and they're doing their job. They're working, okay? So if you have that good to go, put this all the way up to the max. All right, next thing you're going to need to do, Okay, you're going to go over and you're going to put your sound all the way to like 90 or above. Okay, so if you notice right here, somewhere around here, it doesn't matter. You want this thing loud, okay? And this is really good for monitoring because your headphones, right, are going, you can't see my, my interface, but it's... uh. It's right down over here. But your interface, you have direct monitoring in it, right? You have an independent monitor that you have your own little lever where you can turn it up, okay? So you want to keep your volume all the way to the max. And then you just use the, OB, the, uh, the slider right here to limit the signal. Let me show you. This is going to be not a 20-minute video, man. It's going to be a long video, dude. Actually, I could just use the window sound. So check it out. See how even though I have my audio set for 90, or I have it set for 100, it's barely coming out. And then if you want to make it louder... Just go over there, and all of a sudden it's louder. And what this is going to do, it's going to make every single YouTube song come on at the same exact volume. It doesn't matter, because you have it set so it's going so freaking high, but OBS is bringing it down. So it automatically bounces every single audio in YouTube, and it'll make every single, everything perfectly balanced trust me do some tests with it and you'll see if you have any questions on that let me know um let me just make sure since this is such a long video i want to make sure i cover everything uh let's see here yep yep we covered that i have something off screen 
Okay. That um, pretty much covers everything that I wanted to talk about. I'll throw a bunch more links in the description for uh, more people that talk much more knowledgeable and know way more about this program and how to really get all this stuff configured. I can talk about it if you guys want, but um, just let me know, okay? And we'll get into more of the routing stuff on focus right control. But that'll do it for me. I do know this was a long video, and I apologize. But uh, God bless, man. I hope this stuff works for you. I hope you don't have to spend over 100 hours. I spent more. I probably spent like 80 plus hours. Yeah, I don't want you to spend that much time trying to do this, man. It's frustrating. Nobody else has made a video like this or a little series like this. And I really hope this helps some people out. All right. Take it easy, guys. Um, oh, if you do want to see this in, in pro, uh, if you do want to see this actually happening, just come to my stream. I do a drum stream every every so often. I try to do one like once a week, usually on a Saturday. Um, it's always random, but uh, it does it does work. All right, man. Take it easy, guys.